Well, the interesting thing with the, with the Pride with it is this. Firstly, the Marie Colvin story is an extraordinary story. I mean, it is a really, really extraordinary story. Mm. And we've seen in the fel- relatively recent past things like Under the Wire, which is a documentary which tells that story and tells it in a way which is really gripping and engrossing and, you know, and, and, and fascinating. And clearly, from the character point of view, there is, there is so much material in here. Obviously, the film is based on a Vanity Fair article that, you know, that looks at many different sides of what drove her to do what she did. And one of the most important things, one of the things actually comes across in, in the documentary is this idea about, I don't want to be the centre of the story. So there is already an inherent contradiction in anything which makes her the centre of the story because her whole thing was, it's going to these places and reporting back the stuff that other people aren't reporting, sending back the stories that are being that are being sort of overlooked. And that was always kind of the heart of of what of what she was doing. But she talked about it in the clip that we heard about, you know, being driven to go to those places, to see them, to report on the truth. And particularly at this moment in time, anything that celebrates somebody doing that, hmm. that celebrates somebody standing up for, for for news reporting and for reporting the truth and for, you know, first eyewitness reporting at a time in which we have despots attempting to actually, you know, obliterate the idea of truthfulness and talking about fake news and imagining that is what, that is a really important thing. Second thing is that I think that Rosamund Pike and Rosamund Pike never gives less than one hundred percent in a performance. I mean, she throws herself into roles. And you were talking there about the physical transformation, about the you know, yeah. losing height, or and that you could absolutely see that. I mean, I think the performance is really good. She has absolutely embedded herself in that role she's done the you know she's done the homework and while she's on screen you believe completely that she is the character that she's playing i think jamie dawn is good too and i think actually stanley twitchy is kind of interesting for that you said the, the moment that you, that you smile that it kind of brings in the, mm. the light relief that you need so i think all those things are are there also matthew heineman of course who has a document back a background in documentary this is him moving into narrative features and he's done stuff i mean he understands how to tell a story dramatically and many of his documentaries are very, very dramatic. I mean, you look at Cartel Land. I mean, these are dramatic pieces of work. I think the shortcoming for me, it, in the end, comes down to the screenplay. I mean, the screenplay is written by the same guy who wrote Grace of Monaco, which kind of makes sense. Because as I was watching the film, I didn't, you know, I wasn't sure of the credits beforehand. I was thinking, this this is a story that that I that I know through the documentaries. It's a story that is has got so much that needs to be celebrated, and there is no question that what you're seeing on screen is impassioned and is done with conviction and through all the right. So I think why is it that it's seeming to 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 sort of strike some 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 wrong notes for me? And th- I do think that the one of the problems it has is that it has very very expository dialogue. Mm. It has. Um, it has a kind of weird countdown uh, structure to it that begins in Homs and then uh, 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 things are identified as 11 years before Homs, three years before Homs. It's set up in a really kind of very structured dramatic way. And there are discussions in which people say, what is going on? This is what is going How are you feeling about this? This is how I am feeling about that. And I, you know, I, I am very much of the belief that the basis of almost all genuinely brilliant filmmaking is genuinely brilliant screenwriting. I mean, you hear this over and over again. If you do, if the script isn't right, there's only a certain level that the film, film can get to. And so my feeling with this, was, although I think it's it's very, you know, it's, a, a, it's a, an important story and it is told with conviction and, you know, it's there's no question that it's, it, or its heart is in the right place. I think what it lacked is a screenplay that was as good as the material. I think what it lacked was a screenplay that that, that drove the story in the way that it... And so I ended up thinking, what am I learning from this that I wouldn't have learnt from the documentaries? And I think the answer is that that's what's lacking for me. And I do think it comes down to a writing issue. Mm. So it, it, with, with a historical film like that, it leaves you almost wanting... To see the documentary, to see yes, the feature but, length. But in a way, there's that's not a bad thing because anything that makes somebody go away from that thinking, I want True. to I want to find out more, I want to read more, I want to absolutely. But it is there is the, the move from documentary to drama has not necessarily served this story as well as it should have been served, and I do think it's a screenwriting issue. Oh, it's, a, it's a real shame.